Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to solve four very interesting questions based on drift current and drift velocity. Before I start with solution, I would like to show you all those questions and what I want is you just try out all those questions by your own first. Later you can check for the solution. So let me show you the questions one by one. This is first one. You can freeze the video in between. This is second question. This is third question. This third question is having two questions. So it consists four marks in gate examination. Then I'll be explaining you this fourth question. So I hope you have freeze the video in between and you have tried solution by your own. Now let me explain you all those questions one by one. So let us see the first question over here. So first question is based on drift current. So drift current in semiconductor depends upon option A is only the electric field only the carrier concentration gradient, both electric field and carrier concentration and option D is both the electric field and carrier concentration gradient. So first of all, you should know what is the basic formula for drift current. Let me explain you that. See drift current that is depending on drift current density, right? So drift current that is n mu n plus P mu P into charge into electric field. Now, if I consider that with respect to direction, then electric field will be having direction like this. And if you wanted to have drift current, then that will be drift current density dot area. So, see this drift current is depending on drift current density. And if you observe this drift current, so that is depending on electric field as well as it is depending on carrier concentration. Carrier concentration gradient that comes into the picture when you calculate diffusion current. I have explained diffusion current even. So if you see my video based on drift current and diffusion current in that diffusion current density for N type and P type I have explained for N type it is Q into dN into dN by dx. So this dn by dx that is gradient of carrier concentration, right? So here we are talking about drift current. This is about diffusion current. So this drift current that depends on electric field as well as carrier concentration. It does not depend on carrier concentration gradient. So here option C that will be correct choice over here. Let us move on to second question over here. This second question that is quite interesting. Let me read the question first. Question is a DC voltage of 10 volt is applied across N type silicon bar having a rectangular cross section and length of 1 centimeter as shown in figure. So, we are having N type silicon bar and we are applying 10 voltage across it. The donor doping concentration ND and mobility of electrons mu n that is given over here. The average time taken by electrons to move from one end of bar to other end is. So we need to identify how much time that electrons takes to have movement from one end to another end. So here we need to find drift velocity first. Based on drift velocity, we can calculate how much time that it takes from movement from one end to another end. Now, first of all, you need to understand what is drift velocity. See drift velocity, drift velocity that even I have explained in theory video that is mu n into electric field. So now question is what is electric field over here? So electric field that we can calculate based on length of bar and potential applied across it. And electric field will be uniform throughout the bar. Remember this. Why the reason is that is based on planar electric field. So when we talk about planar electric field that will be constant throughout this bar. Now how to have electric field over here? So electric field over here that will be simply potential divided by distance. So potential over here that is 10 voltage divided by distance over here that is 1 centimeter. So you can say 10 volt per centimeter that is electric field that is happening through this bar. Now mu n mu n that is given to us. See mobility of electrons mu n that is 
थाउजेंड सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर पर वोल्ट सेकेंड राइट एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी कैन हैव ड्रिफ्ट वेलोसिटी सो लेट एस कैलकुलेट ड्रिफ्ट वेलोसिटी फर्स्ट सी ड्रिफ्ट वेलोसिटी दैट इज म्यू एन दैट इज थाउजेंड सो टेन टू द पावर थ्री इन टू ई सो ई दैट वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड टेन सो ड्रिफ्ट वेलोसिटी ओवर हियर दैट इज टेन टू द पावर फोर and this is there in terms of centimeter per second you see we are considering units in terms of centimeter remember this right now we need to find what we need to find how much time that it takes to reach from one end to another end so that we can simply calculate by having simple relation of velocity as per distance by time now here see what is distance distance that is given to us that is 1 cm and we can have time over here based on it so time will be distance by drift velocity now here see this distance that is 1 cm and velocity that is 10 to the power 4 so time will be 10 to the power minus 4 and that is there in terms of second but we need to see what is the question over here if you observe the question we need to find Average time in microsecond. Question is there in terms of microsecond. So we need to convert this 10 to the power minus 4 into microsecond. So microsecond is 10 to the power minus 6. If you make it to 10 to the power minus 6, then you will be having 100 into 10 to the power minus 6. That will be microsecond. So here time will be 100 microseconds. So your answer over here is 100 microsecond. Right. i hope you have understood this let us move on to next interesting question over here this question is quite interesting let us read the question first see in third question the silicon sample with unit cross sectional area shown below is in thermal equilibrium so here we are given with silicon bar and that is having donor impurities means small n is equals to nd and that is 10 to the power 16 per centimeter cube following informations are given temperature is given charge value is given thermal voltage is given and electron mobility is given and here there are two questions so in gate for four marks this question is there let us see how first question is there the magnitude of electric field at x is equals to 0.5 micrometer is so we need to find electric field through this silicon bar and you should know see across this entire silicon bar electric field will be uniform so even if question is there at x is equals to at x is equals to 0.5 micrometer you need to understand it will be constant through the this entire bar right so here there is no there is no importance of x is equals to 0.5 electric field will be constant and in my last example also i have explained how to calculate electric field voltage by distance right so same thing that will be doing over here the electric field over here electric field over here that is voltage by distance voltage is 1 volt and distance over here that is from 0 to 1 micrometer means 1 micrometer so you can say 10 to the power 6 volt per meter that is electric field but if you observe answer is there in terms of kilo volt per centimeter so we need to convert this in terms of kilo volt per centimeter let me show you how to do that see if you wanted to have kilo volt then 10 to the power 3 should be over here per centimeter means 10 to the power minus 2 should be over here and you need to make it to 10 to the power 6 so 10 to the power 1 into 10 to the power 3 that will be 4 divided by minus 2 means 10 to the power 6 right volt per meter so now you can say 10 kilo volt per centimeter this is how you can convert this so every time you need to see in which unit answer is there based on that you should be calculating this so our correct choice over here that is option c right now let us see how second question is available over here the magnitude of electric drift current density at x is equals to 0.5 micrometer is so at x is equals to 0.5 micrometer we need to find current density so current density current density that is jn and we need to find drift current density right so that is n mu n into 
Q into lateral field. This is what we have already derived in my theory video, right? And you need to remember this formula. Here, issue is there in terms of conversion in units. Formulas are very simple. Let us substitute the values. So, N is electron concentration. So, here doping is given and that is donor impurities means electron concentration is 10 to the power 16 per centimeter cube. So, let me write that 10 to the power 16, 10 to the power 16 per centimeter cube. Now, you see what I am doing is I am showing you units over here so that you can understand things in calculation, right. So, N is 10 to the power 16 per centimeter cube. Mu N is electron mobility that is also given. So, electron mobility is 1350 and that is there in terms of centimeter square per volt second, right. Then charge is given, charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb, right. So, unit is there in terms of coulomb and then electric field is there which we have calculated that is 10, that is 10 kilo volt per centimeter. Let me multiply 10 to the power 3 over here so that I can make it to volt per centimeter. Now, if you observe here, see this centimeter, this centimeter, this centimeter square and this centimeter, this will get cancelled and here 1 centimeter will remain and divided by centimeter square will be there, right. Now, it will be centimeter square and coulomb per second that will be ampere, right, coulomb per second that will be ampere. So, here unit will be, here unit will be ampere per centimeter square, right, ampere per centimeter square. Now, here see what is this value 10 to the power 16 into 10 to the power minus 19 into 10 to the power 3. So, that will get cancelled, right. And if you calculate this 1350 into 1 1.6 into 10, then your answer that should be, let me see my answer, that is 21600. So, here you can say this is, this answer is there in terms of uh, ampere per centimeter square only, but you see 2.16, 2.16 into 10 to the power 4 ampere per centimeter square that you can say. So, your correct option is A over here, right. So, here whenever you solve question at a time, you should be precise about how units are there. Usually, what I recommend is you will have to convert things in terms of centimeter over here when you apply the things and later you will be observing your correct answers will be there in options, right. But here for understanding purpose, I have shown you all those units. Otherwise, you can directly place things as I have explained over here and things should be there in terms of centimeter, then your answer will come automatically. I hope you have understood this. Let us move on to last interesting question over here. Last question is quite interesting and there are few basic things that you need to know. Let me read the question first. The dependence of drip velocity of electrons on electric field in a semiconductor is shown below. So, here drift velocity and electric field that is depending on each other with respect to graph that is given. The semiconductor has uniform electron concentration of N is equals to this, charge is equals to this. If bias of 5 voltage is applied across 1 meter region of the semiconductor, the resulting current density in this region in kilo ampere per centimeter square is how much? So, we need to find current density over here. So, first of all, let me write the formula, what is current density and then we will try to analyze like how to solve this question, right. So, drift current density, drift current density, drift current density that is n mu n into q into e, right, n mu n into q into e, that is how drift current density is there. Now, here if you observe, we don't, we are not having electric field and mu n in this data. And one more thing that you can say, mu n into e, mu n into e, that is drift velocity. So, q into n into drift velocity, that is drift current density. So, if you, if you calculate drift velocity, then you can have drift, drift current density. But drift 
drift velocity is also not given. So, here what we need to do is from this graph we need to understand how to have drift velocity. Now, electric field that we can calculate you see voltage and distance that is given to us. So, based on that we can have electric field and by placing electric field in this graph we can have drift velocity over here. Let me show you how. See here we can have electric field. How electric field that is voltage by distance. What is voltage? Phi. What is distance? 1 micrometer. So, electric field here that will be phi into 10 to the power 6 volt per meter. But if you observe here units, then it is it should be there in volt per centimeter. So, to have this in volt per centimeter, what we need to do? Per centimeter that we need to have. So, phi into 10 to the power 4 divided by 10 to the power minus 2 that I can do. So, that will be volt per centimeter, right. So, electric field over here that is phi into 10 to the power 4 volt per centimeter. Now, this electric field in this graph will gives you drift velocity and that drift velocity that we can place it over here and Q and N that is available over here. So, we can have drift current density. So, you see this electric field phi into 10 to the power 4. So, phi into 10 to the power 4 that will be somewhere over here. So, over here what is drift velocity that we need to check, right. Now, how to have this? By simply applying basic rule of mathematics of slope. You see how drift velocity that we wanted to have divided by electric field that we have calculated that is equals to this divided by this, right. So, here 10 to the power 7 divided by 5 into 10 to the power 5. Now, based on this, we can have drift velocity. So, 10 to the power 7 into electric field that is 5 into 5 into 10 to the power 4 divided by 5 into 10 to the power 5. So, if you solve this, then you will be having 10 to the power 6 over here, right. So, 10 to the power 6 and unit will be there in terms of centimeter per second. Now, we are having drift velocity. So, we can place that in this drift current density. So, drift current density now, drift current density J, that will be Q, that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into N, N is 10 to the power 16 into mu N, E, but mu n is drift velocity that we have calculated that is 10 to the power 6 that is 10 to the power 6 and this n is 16 right 10 to the power 16. So, if you solve this you will be having 1.6 into 10 to the power 3 and this will be there in terms of this will be there in terms of ampere per centimeter right square ampere per centimeter square. So, you can say this is 1.6 into 10 to the power 3 ampere per centimeter square, but you need to have this in terms of kilo ampere per centimeter square. So, here it will be 1.6 kilo ampere per centimeter square, right? 10 to the power 3 ampere means kilo ampere. So, 1.6 that will be your answer over here, right? 1.6 that will be your answer over here. So, this is how you can have solution. So, first of all you need to understand what is basic formula and how to utilize it. See here there are few basic things that I am again repeating. When you talk about bar, then across bar always electric field will be uniform. So, even if they try to give more data, at that time you need to understand like extra data is given, you do not need to focus about x is equals to 0 0.5. Uniform electric field will be voltage by distance, directly you can calculate that. And then you will have to substitute that in formulas which we have remembered, right. So, I hope you have understood this. Sometimes this type of graph may be given to you. At that time you might be thinking like this question is humongous. But if you understand how slope is there, then from slope we can have drift velocity and then we can substitute that in basic formula and we can have answers. I hope you have understood this. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.